Hi, my name is Barb Adrian. Today we'll be talking about customer maintenance in accounts receivable. To navigate, go to Modules, Accounts Receivable, Main, and Customer Maintenance. We use Customer Maintenance to enter and maintain our customer information. If we click the Lookup button next to the Customer Number field, we can select a customer that's already entered. Customer Maintenance consists of eight tabs. Main, Additional, Statistics, Summary, History, Invoices, Transaction, and Sales Order. However, with the Sales Order tab, if you are not integrated with the Sales Order module, you will not have access to this tab. We'll start with the Main tab. On the Main tab, as you can see, we have our address information, our default salesperson, if you selected the Salesperson Commission Reporting checkbox in Accounts Receivable Options, you must assign a salesperson to every customer. You can change the default salesperson when entering transactions and invoice data entry. Depending on your security level within MASS, any of the blue hyperlinks that you see, such as the salesperson, if you click on it, it will launch you into that maintenance task. On the main tab, we can also enter in our telephone and fax information, the company's email address, and also a website. On the right-hand side, we have our terms code information. This must be entered when entering a brand new customer. You can select the primary contact from the lookup list, or you can click the primary contact information, click accept to clear the current contact, and enter in your new contact information if you'd like to add one. You can enter your ship code as well as your primary ship to. You can also assign your tax schedule. If the customer has a tax exemption, click the exemption button and fill in the exemption number. Click OK to save your changes. The last portion on the main tab is the credit information. You can place your customers on hold by checking the credit hold checkbox. You can also enter in their credit limit. In this case, this customer has a credit limit of $7,500. Next is the additional tab. Any information entered in the comment field will appear on reports. You can choose if your customer is open item by checking the checkbox, and if it isn't open item, leave the checkbox cleared. If the checkbox is cleared, all open invoices are totaled at the end of each period and carried forward as one amount. Payments are applied to the balance rather than to individual invoices. These customers are referred to as balance forward customers. The checkbox is available only if open item or mixed is selected at the open item or balance forward field in the accounts receivable options. In the item code field, select the lookup to select the default item that this customer normally purchases. If integrated with inventory, you can set different price levels. You can select the default payment type for this customer. Enter in a discount rate for this customer, as well as set the customer's finance charge rate. In the printing section, we have a sort and customer type field. These are user-defined fields that are used for sorting and reporting purposes. The statement cycle field allows you to enter a user-defined statement cycle code. The cycle entered is used to group customers together when printing statements. If you'd like to print the done message on the statement, check this checkbox for the customer. In the primary credit card information section, we can enter in the customer's primary credit card information. Next, we'll discuss the primary credit card information section. By entering a credit card number at the CC number field or by clicking credit cards, you can predefine credit card information for the customer. The information entered is used when processing cash receipts for a customer. 
The primary checkbox is automatically selected for the credit card selected at the credit card number field on the additional tab. Only payment types defined as credit card in payment type maintenance are available at the CC payment type field. You can define an unlimited number of credit cards for a single customer. The Corporate ID PO field is available only if the Allow Corporate Credit Cards checkbox is selected for the payment type in Payment Type Maintenance. Once you've entered in the credit card information, you can click Accept. Next, we'll move to the Statistics tab. This tab is used to view statistical information such as last payment date, highest balance, and aging information. The information on this tab updates as you process your transactions. The Aging As Of field displays the date the aging information was last updated. Click the Recalculate Aging button to recalculate the aging information as of the current date. Use the Summary tab to view customer history for the current period, current year, and last year. Historical information updates as you process transactions. You can change the fiscal period and the fiscal year to determine the information displayed. As you can see, it will show you your sales, cost of goods sold, profit percent, cash received, number of invoices, finance charges, and number of finance charges for period to date, year to date, and prior year for the fiscal period and year selected on the left hand side. The history available is based on the number of years you selected to retain a customer history and accounts receivable options. The history tab contains customer history for the current period, current year, and last year. Again, historical information is automatically updated as you process transactions. You can change the information displayed by selecting a new fiscal year on the right-hand side. The history available on this tab is also based on the number of years you selected to retain customer history in accounts receivable options. If we click the Switch View button, it will also show us prior year information for each period. You can click the Fix button to change information in the Sales, Cost to Sales, Cash Received, and Number of Invoices column. This button is available only if you have the appropriate security event permission, allowing you to modify information on this tab. The Invoice tab is used to display a list of all open invoices for the customer and any payments and adjustments applied to the invoice. If you selected to display zero balance invoices in accounts receivable options, zero balance invoices are included on this tab. The invoice tab is broken out into three areas. The first window will show us the invoice. What type of invoice, invoice date, the invoice due date, a discount date if that applies, the amount of the invoice, any discounts, and the balance of the invoice as well. If we move our bar over, we can also see customer PO number, comment, the terms code, and the salesperson assigned to that invoice. If we highlight an invoice and look at our second area, we can see the original invoice line and any transactions that correspond to this invoice. As you can see, we also have a payment against this invoice. And the last section on the Invoice tab will show us the customer's aging information. If we look at the buttons on the right-hand side, if we click the first one, this is called our Search button. This will allow us to search within that first area for a certain invoice number invoice date, due date, discount date, invoice balance, or customer PO number. You can choose specifically for these fields, or you can do ranges, begins with, ends with, contains, etc. 
Once you have your search criteria entered, click OK, and the information you select in the search criteria will only be showing in this window. The next button is our Invoice History button. If we click this button, it will drill down into the invoice, showing us the information that was entered on the original invoice. If we look at our Lines tab, we can also see the items that were entered on the invoice. The next button on the right hand side is Print Age Invoice Report. If we click this button, it will only print an aging for this customer. As you can see, in the selection area, we do not have the option to change this. And the last button is our Print Statement button. This will launch us into statement printing, and again, we'll only print a statement for this customer only. The next tab is our Transactions tab. The Transaction tab allows us to view all transaction information for a customer. Invoices, payments, and adjustments display together in a single grid. The buttons on the right-hand side perform the same functions as on the Invoice tab. The last tab is our Sales Order tab. We can use the Sales Order tab to view open sales orders for this customer. This information is available only when using the sales order module. To enter a new customer, enter in the customer code. A customer code can be seven characters. If you are using divisions, you must enter the division number first, followed by the customer code. When entering a new customer, you can click the Copy From button. When clicking this button, you can copy information from an existing customer. You can select the customer you want to copy from and click OK. All information entered on the main and additional tabs for the selected customer are copied to the new customer. You can also select to include Ship to Addresses defined for the customer. Ship to addresses are only defined if integrated with the sales order module. If you choose not to copy from, in the name field, enter the name of the customer. This field allows for 30 characters. Fill in the address information. the salesperson, phone number and fax number, terms code, and you can optionally choose to fill out the primary contact ship to code and primary ship to. Enter in a default tax schedule. Click the additional tab and fill out any additional information you wish to about this new customer. Once you have filled out the information that you would like to, click accept to save the entry. If we select our lookup next to the customer number field, I can see that my customer has been entered. Click the Read Number button to assign a new customer number or division number to the current customer. You cannot change the customer number for customers with open invoices. After the customer number is changed, all information appears under the new customer number. Some additional options in customer maintenance are in the upper right-hand corner. The first one we'll look at is the Items button. 
Click the Items button to view detailed sales history for a customer and inventory item. If Items is not displayed, click the down arrow key and select Items from the list. This button is only available if you're integrated with Sales Order. Click the alias to define alias for a specific item in Inventory Management. You can use aliases when looking up items in Sales Order. Information entered is specific to the customer and item selected. This button is available only if integrated with Sales Order and Inventory Management. Click Pricing to define a price schedule to use when the customer purchases a specific item. Price schedules are only used when entering invoices and sales orders in Sales Order. You can also define price schedules for a specific customer in the Price Code Maintenance task in Inventory Maintenance. Once you select an item number, select the Contacts option to define an unlimited number of contacts for each customer with corresponding address information. You can assign one contact as the primary contact for the customer on the main tab. The primary contact is the default for all transactions, but you can change the contact for each individual transaction. Select the Ship to Address option to set up and maintain one or more Ship to Addresses for each customer. This option is only available if integrated with Sales Order. To enter a new Ship to Address, enter in a code, put in the description of the location, and add or change any of the address information. Once you are done, click Accept. Select Invoices Inquiry to quickly view a list of open invoices for the selected customer. Information displayed includes invoice number, invoice date, and amount. Payments and adjustments are not displayed in this window. The Search and Drill Down button work the same as discussed on the Invoices tab. As you can see on the main menu under Customer Maintenance, there's also an option called Customer Inquiry. Customer Inquiry is the exact same as Customer Maintenance with the exception that no fields can be changed. It is for view purposes only. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Barb Adrian.